<laughs> in December, and there was an armed robbery at Kogo's, and I wanted to compliment our police department uh, for identifying and seeing that the perpetrator, that the alleged perpetrator, was apprehended. Um, th their efforts were simply good police work, which I've found is a lot more work than you might think. <laughs> so, thank you to the officers uh, for a team and for an excellent job, and I very much appreciate their service to our community. Good job. suspect, a short list of suspects within a matter of hours just from the officer's familiarity with people in the community and uh, we quickly dissolved that down to one individual we focused on. On Friday, which was the following day, we hit his house with a search warrant, his apartment with a search warrant. On Saturday, we had the arrest warrant and Sunday, the individual was located in Florida, which is where he was taken into custody. So it was good police work and it was an example of the officers knowing the community knowing individuals in this town because although we had video of the robbery, um, it, it was very hard to put a face to who that person was. We had to go off the clothing description more so than anything. So it was a very unique jacket the individual was wearing. But I had a couple officers and individuals that, that looked at it and said, eh, it could be so-and-so. And, and sure enough, that's who it was. So he had his day in court, but uh, he, he gave a confession to the officers in Florida. So it, it's pretty much looking like a good case for us and uh, brought a resolution to it. But it's not his first brush with the law either. So <laughs> hopefully, maybe it's his last. Yes, he was living in Bridgeville Towers. We arrested him. Our first arrest we could attribute to Facebook for solving for us was last June, and it was this individual. We walked into the beer warehouse, stole a case of beer, and walked out with it. So if you remember seeing that, that's who it was.